Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're wondering where I've been recently, I've been exploring the world of the Lands Between in the Elden Ring. In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on how best to defeat Margit the Fell Omen, one of the earliest critical path bosses in this glorious game. He acts as a roadblock for your entry into Stormvale Castle, and he is a necessary test of your skills, because once you enter Stormvale, things get very deadly. Almost everything in these From Software games will want to make you deader than Disco, but Stormvale Castle is particularly brutal, so you'll need to have mastered a few of the game's core mechanics to proceed. Luckily, Margit is here to teach you those skills. It may not seem like he wants to help after he's destroyed you multiple times, but every enemy in this game is trying to teach you something so you can continue on your quest for the Elden Ring. Before we continue, let me state that this method worked for me, but it might not work for you. There are likely even more effective strategies already out there online, and obviously this is very dependent on your build as well. But this is the way that I beat the monstrous Margit, and I hope this helps other Tarnished who are struggling. First up, you're going to want to chat to this young lady who hangs out in Stormhill Shack before you face Margit. If you exhaust all of her dialogue, she will gift you with the Ashes of the Spirit Jellyfish, who is a fantastic ally for this tough boss battle. As soon as you enter the fight, summon your Jellyfish Spirit and equip your Flask of Crimson Tears, so you can heal if you need to. If you're lucky like I was, the Jellyfish will draw Margit's attention so you can circle behind and attack his terrifying tail. Once you do, he will likely circle back around and attack you. Draw his attention and retreat up into the boss area, ensuring of course you don't accidentally strafe off the edge of this precarious stone bridge. As you retreat, the Jellyfish will use its ranged attack to deal damage to the boss's back. Essentially, you want to ping pong Margit between yourself and the Jellyfish. An attack on two fronts works well in this particular arena because it's long and thin. Unlike some of the larger boss arenas, your adversary will really struggle to circle around you both. Once Margit reaches half health, he will start using his big gold hammer. Study his attacks and try your best to find an opportunity to strike. Margit actually telegraphs a lot of his deadliest moves and once you've learned his patterns, you can find your opening. If you're far away, be ready for the knife throwing attacks too. If he hits you with them and then advances while you are staggered, he can capitalize and absolutely decimate you. In the event that your jellyfish friend dies, the battle will become a lot harder, so keep an eye on its health bar and draw Margit towards you if the jellyfish is struggling to survive. Obviously, don't forget to keep your own health topped up, because if Margit comes at you with a few of his combos, he can easily wipe you out unless you have a high vigor stat or you time your blocks particularly well. Speaking of stats and loadout, I'm using a medium load here so that I have the ability to easily dodge Margit's attacks. A big part of this battle is also psychological. He taunts you throughout, but don't let him get to you. You can beat him. Hopefully these tips have helped you and you can continue on your journey in the Elden Ring. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Please do give it a like if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment as well if you've got something you'd like to say. If you want to check out some more stuff from me, then there should be a playlist just above my head and there's also a video link here to another video that you should check out that's from me. If you want to subscribe as well as the subscribe or just hovering above my head, give that a click for me. You'd really make my day. I will see you in the next video.